that our nations from the first shots fired in our struggle for independence through all of our nation's conflicts, all of them, both the great wars and the, the smaller ones, to today's global war on terrorism. Whether you have wore our nation's uniform during combat operations, which many of you have, or during peacetime during the Cold War, as an active guard or reservist in any of our branches that we recognize today, we thank you. We are all the benefactors of your collective sacrifices. Today, thousands of young people continue to answer that call from every corner of our nation, from every place around our country, from every territory, from every walk of life. They represent our best and our brightest. These young people are patriotic to the core, just like those of the past. They understand the special mission that our country has granted in them and the special trust of protection that's been given. They are among the elite few Americans that can claim the title of veteran. They're the best of us, and they have the right stuff. After the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, Americans from all walks of life answered that call, that willingness to serve and to, an and to answer and to prove themselves worthy. President Bush said, the terrorists shook the foundations of a few of our large buildings, but they did not shake the foundation of America. I'd like to give the young people out there a, a, applause for that. Well, today, or in the past, our sons and daughters have displayed uncommon courage and valor, defending those who often could not defend themselves, those that were underneath a tyrant's boot, those that needed relief from dark places during natural disasters. They have struggled on battlefields and some of the harshest terrain on the planet. And these veterans all have relentlessly pursued evil men, like Adolf Hitler, like Saddam Hussein, like Osama bin Laden. They have gave them and those that protected them what they deserved. Our accomplishments as a people can also be seen in our military. And it's reflected there. No bullets do not discriminate. There is no race, color, or creed that has a monopoly on courage. And if you go to the Arlington National Cemetery, you will see the graves of the Tuskegee Airmen laying not far from those of the grandsons of former slave owners. Our armed forces was the first American institution to fully integrate, the first to fully benefit from the talents of all Americans. Our unqualified success as a diverse fighting force has been a shining example for the best our nation has to offer. Today we must also recognize and thank those families of our veterans. You know, we live very busy and noisy lives here in America going to and from events, taking care of our kids, uh, watching ball games, as many of us will be doing tomorrow. But you know, no one knows silence like a military family. The silence that remains behind when a son and daughter goes off to basic training. The lingering silence of when a father and a mother deploys overseas. Or the deafening silence of when a folded flag is handed to a grieving loved one. Their silence is profound and is a living testament to the lives that their loved ones lived and the sacrifice that they gave for their country. Families of our veterans and families of the 45th, thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Today here at the 45th Infantry Museum, as Oklahomans pause, along with the rest of America, the reflective gratitude and to give heartfelt thanks for those of you who are serving, those of you who have served, and those that have served our nation so honorably. You know, there's been a terrible price in blood, and there's many of you that bear both the scars, both seen and unseen, that have paid and secured the way of life that we have here today. So in closing, there's nothing that I can say that would speak higher for us veterans than the words that you'll find on a memorial at the Arlington National Cemetery. And they read, not for fame or reward,
not for place or rank, not for the lure of ambition or the groaning of necessity, but for simple obedience to duty as they understood it. These men suffered all, dared all, and died. Today, veterans, both men and women, are recognized for their willingness to do the same on all of our behalf. With that, God bless each of you for being here today. God bless our veterans, past and present. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.